Welcome uh, GUI 12 to trigonometry, uh, 3D shapes. We are given a 3D shape and uh, some information on that shape. Uh, you may pause the video if you want to go through the information, but uh, I'm going to go straight to the questions. Just question one. All right, calculate the length of AC. So this is the length that you're looking for. AC in terms of X and theta. And of course, if you're going to calculate AC, that means you're using this triangle. Okay, so let's see. If we look at this triangle, we've got angle theta over here. And angle theta has the opposite side, we see which is X. And we are looking for the hypotenuse. Now we know opposite over hypotenuse is actually sine, right? So this will be sine of theta, opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so we've got sine theta, and we know the opposite side is x, bc is x, and the hypotenuse is ac. Remember, this is the side that we're looking for, so we will write it as ac. Now, to simplify, we can just swap the sine theta with the ac. So we've got ac, and we've got sine theta, where a, uh, ac used to be. We just swap the two, and that will be our solution. Uh, we have written AC in terms of X and sine theta. Let's go to question two. In question two, calculate the length of CE. This time we're looking for CE in terms of X. So we're looking for CE. That means we're going to be using this triangle. And if you, in that triangle, you will see that we have got angle that angle of 60 degrees and that angle has an adjacent side and of course we are again looking for the hypotenuse. So we know of course that adjacent over the hypotenuse is actually cosine, isn't it? Adjacent over the hypotenuse is cosine. So it will be cosine that angle 60 degrees cosine of 60 degrees. Okay. And of course, the adjacent side is x plus 2, the CD side. And of course, the hypotenuse in this case is CE. We write it as CE because that's the side that we're looking for. And again, to simplify, we can swap cosine of 60 and CE. So we got CE equals to x plus 2 divided by cosine of 60 degrees. And uh, to simplify CE further, we know that cosine of 60 is actually a half uh, because cosine of 60, that's a special, special angle. So if you go to your special triangles, you'll find that cosine of 60 is a half. You could also just use your calculator. Uh, cosine of 60 degrees is a half. So we know that cosine of 60 is a half. Now, we divide x by that half to simplify. We also divide the 2 by the half. Okay, so 1 divided by half is 2, so we have 2x. Two, 2 divided by half is 4, and that is our solution. Uh, that is our CE. Our CE is 2x plus 4. Let's go now to question number 3. In question 3, we asked to show that uh, the area of triangle ACE, so this is this triangle ACE that we're looking for, can be written as 2x, x plus 2 multiplied by cosine theta. Now, of course, uh, if you have to calculate the area, you must use the area rule. Uh, just to remind you of that uh, formula. This is, of course, the, the formula that we need to use to calculate area. 
All right, uh, it is in your formula sheet. Okay, so if we make ACA and this side B and this side C, we can now use the, the formula. Remember the formula is half A times B times sine of C. Okay, so let's put that to application. So it will be half multiplied by AC multiplied by CE. And then multiply by sine of C, angle C. So we know from number one that AC, the value of AC was X over sine theta. And from number two, we know that the value of CE was 2X plus 4. We calculated in number two. You just put that over one so we've got everything in fraction form. And we are told that uh, angle C is actually 2 theta. Let's put that also over 1. Okay, so if you multiply it out, you have x over 2 sine theta. Just multiplying the first two. Multiply by 2x plus 4 over 1. And of course, if we expand the double angle of sine, 2 sine theta multiplied by cosine theta. Also put that over 1. Now you will see that the 2 sine theta will cancel out with that one. So what we're left with are these two. So if you, of course, if you write this out, we'll have x multiplied by the second term times the cosine of theta. Of course, these two terms inside the brackets, they have two in common. So if we take that two outside the bracket, you're left with the x and two goes into four, two times. So of course, we have proven that that triangle is equal to that expression. Moving on to question four. In question four, this is the information. If theta is equal to 55 degrees and uh, BC is equal to 12, we want to calculate AE. And of course, this is the side that we're trying to calculate is AE. Okay, so definitely we want to use this triangle to calculate AE. Now, how do we calculate AE? Of course, this is a situation where we need to use the cosine uh, rule to calculate AC because we're going to use the sides that we already have, which is AC and CE. So if you've got two sides and an angle and you want to calculate the third side, then you would use the cosine rule. Let me just uh, go to that formula. Okay, so this is the cosine formula uh, that you need to use. A is squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc uh, all multiplied by cosine of a. Alright, so we can use this side AC, oh, we're trying to calculate AE. So according to the formula, AE squared is equal to, it's going to be equal to AC squared plus CE squared minus AC times CE multiplied by cosine of C, of course, because this is a cosine. Now let's expand. We know AC again from number one was X over sine theta squared. We know CE from number two was 
2x plus 4 all squared and then of course you can write that over again sine theta 2x plus 4 multiply by cosine of 2 theta okay now we can use this information that's been given we're told that theta is 55 and BC remember BC is X so X is actually equal to 12 so wherever there's theta will substitute 55 and where there's an X we will substitute 12 it's 12 over sine of 55 degrees all squared plus Okay, so here we've got 2x, and remember x is 12, so 2 times 12 is 24, plus 4 is 28, all squared. Okay, so we can write those again, sine 55 degrees, multiplied by 28, multiplied by cosine of 2 theta and of course theta is 55 so 2 times 55 will be 110 degrees so to find a e squared you just multiply that out on the calculator and that will give us so we've got 12 over sine of 55 squared plus 28 And that will give us 1,279. For accuracy, let's write all the digits, 181.67. Now, of course, if you want AE, we have to square root that. Now we may round off to just uh, two decimal places. So to get AE, it will be 35, comma, 77 units. Okay, so 35, comma, 77 units. Okay, thank you.